Good morning, Nail Vibes. Amanda Yoakum here for watching right the second you are watching the replay. Welcome to Coffee Talk, where I randomly hop on, have my first cup of joe with each of you, and kind of just ramble. Um, it has been over a week. Boris, you're not going inside right now. It's been over a week since I've been live here. Let me tell you why. So, some of our really good friends, um, who are really good friends in Alaska, and then um, they moved to Louisiana. They had to evacuate from Hurricane Ida, and they've been they stayed with us for like eight to ten days or so. So they just left on Sunday, and within that time, we had my oldest thirteenth birthday. So this is the last time I talked to y'all, and then they were here, um, and then the next Friday, our middle turned eleven, and then they left on Sunday. And so it's kind of been one thing after other. And then yesterday, we're preparing for the tropical storm Hurricane Nicholas, who thankfully more or less missed us. It was super windy, got lots of leaves in the pool. I think I lost a beach ball, but that's about it. And there are so many areas around us that um, were affected by Nicholas, but we were spared this round. So good morning. Happy, happy Tuesday. Halloween launch happened since I talked to y'all, I believe, and it went fantastic. Y'all are selling these like hotcakes. We sold out of three of them. I mean, it is just crazy. I, I think, I don't even think I was able to get the glow in the dark one for myself. So I was like, well, good thing I, I closed out a party so I can at least get the solid glow in the dark one. But today I'm going to talk to y'all about what I'm doing right now in a party that I'm also transitioning it to my um, VIP space. So this party I have is actually one of my sorority sisters and she's a really good VIP. A lot of her friends from her parties end up joining my VIP and they shop a lot. They, um, so like a big chunk of my big shoppers they're all kind of friends and so one of them had the party she's had a party she probably doesn't want to inform me like every every season she'll do a party and um she takes turns between me and um her other friend or cousin or someone who's a stylist and that's perfectly great with me um but this round she's having her party with me and her friends like i said are my big shoppers and I couldn't even get the party set up like in Facebook before I already, I sent her her link in the back office. So I could not even get her Facebook group set up by the time her people were already ordering. A, I know she'd be a great stylist, but she's not ready for that. I've been saying, telling her that for four years. Um, she's happy to support my business. So it's great. But because of that, I had not even offered the early bird. I have not offered any of these things like I typically do before the first order comes in. So before, since I hadn't offered the early bird, but in my VIP space where most of these girls who had ordered are, they did see my pre-order little doodad. Like if you do the pre-order, you're gonna get this. So what I decided was I made my thank you graphics with each um, party order. And what I do with that is I have um, a background that says thank you and I change their name and I leave my logo and then I change up the picture. I take a screenshot of their order and I crop out where it's just the nails. If you search on here, thank you post, I have a whole example of how I do that. And so I decided on my um, VIP rule well, first, I, so, Ooh, sorry, all confused yet? So remember, I said that my VIP group was not even set up and they had already had like 120 orders, $120 worth of orders. So what I did before I added my hostess to it, I did my basics. Like before I add hostess, I like to have four posts already done. I like to have the application. I like to have the information post that says what is Color Street, the um, how to remove it, the prices, and some examples of some manicures. Um, I also like to have my sample requests done on there. Um, so I like to have those loaded before I add my hostess. Well, guys, people have already ordered. So what I did with this is I simply put 
Um, before I added my hostess, I put, we got some early, early birds shopping already. And I put their thank you posts on there. And I said, I already have a fall special coming your way. Well, since I know all of them are already in my VIP page, I went and, Forrest, we're not going inside right now. I went in and um, I posted individually thank yous with the image of the little doodads I made for them for their pre-orders, but I'm doing it for all September orders. They don't know that. So with those three orders that she had before the Facebook even opened, I had thank you, Julie, picture with her order. And then next to it was a little fall goodie that I've said in the party page that she was getting. So I did that for the three people. By the time I was doing that, the third person, I mean the fourth person ordered, because guess what? In that um and that post like thank you for your party order and the friends started noticing oh, these are all my friends who's having a party and they're like oh, so you're having a party add me to the party and they went ahead and shopped so what i did was i had that general thank you post for the early early birds because i'll do more fun posts for orders coming but i took those knowing these girls are my vip page and individually shouted them out thanking them for a party order okay and they saw the little doodaddies that they were gonna get for ordering. So that was my early, early bird special that I revealed on the VIP space. But this really caught the attention of their other friends in the group. I know who they are all friends. Like, oh, 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 I wanna order. Guys, so this morning I finally did my sample post because the party doesn't even start till like Thursday and the party's already at $183. So even though there's already orders in there, there's only eight people in that group so far, but they also have four have already ordered. So we're, we're have a really good track record so far, but I still offered the samples because you never know one of their friends who might be in the party or in your VIP space may still have never have tried the product. Always offer the sample. And I've been thinking a lot today, um, I'm working with a group um, back to the basics and thinking, how, what, what is it? What, how do we get the business rolling again? And really, it's getting those samples out there. So um, I took the sample. The, I made a cute um, two finger sample, two finger tester image, and I posted it in my party first. And it has my little form to fill out. Then I shared it in the VIP group. Then I shared it on my personal page. So that's now getting out to three different areas. And guess what? I'm broadening my group by sharing a sample in the party, but also there's VIPs in there that might have joined, but are added by a friend and want to try the product. Don't forget to offer a sample. A lot of times I just forget. I'm like, oh, everyone's already tried. Everyone's already tried. Everyone's already tried. No, not everyone's already tried. So don't forget to offer the sample. Now what you can do too is what I did with this. I made this a Halloween one and made like, I, I my post was like, have you tried our magical nails? These are some beautiful two finger testers. Um, fill out this form. I'll get out these um, spectacular uh, samples out to you. So like I wore, made it like that. So this image that I made with Halloween like, I'm going to use that the rest of this month and the rest of October as my sample, sample picture. Um, two finger tester. And by doing that, they're going to recognize that image and say, oh, I do want to try this sample. I do want to try it. So get back in those habits of those little things. But the key part of today's coffee talk is what you're doing in your party right now, if you think would help your VIP page, or you know that one of the guests in the party is a VIP, thank them also in the VIP. If you're doing something, an informational post in your party, and you haven't talked about our prices in a long time, share that same post in your VIP page. Guys, don't make your life a little easier. If you're already making a cute graphic for the party and you haven't talked about it in a long time, take it over to your group because yes, there's a party going and yes, the host is in your VIP group, but not everyone in that party is in your VIP group. But also if you think about it, those people may not even be seeing my party post. But if they're regulars in the VIP group, they might be seeing them better. So just remember that you can make life a little easier. And if it's a topic in your party that you've not done in a while, 
go ahead and share there and then carry over to your VIP space. So that's just a little something to think about. Another thing of how and why you get to know your VIPs is because you, like, I know this one hostess, her girls are all my VIP and they all shop and they all support each other. And one will put, do a party off the other one and the other, but they all kind of just, it's the cutest thing. It's fantastic. But just remember to keep things coming into their faces. Continue saying thank you because the more you show their order, the more you show the thanks, the more that you're offering a sample, the more they're going to see your product. Um, and don't be afraid to sprinkle in our product on your personal page. My personal page is basically a lifetime reality show of my life and my family. And I'll sprinkle in some color street here and there. Um, but also I have to remember I have some new followers or whatnot. They may not know that I sell color street. So I got to offer that sample every now and then. So a little word of advice is... What you're doing in your, your parties right now could really work in your VIP space, especially if you are doing a fall or Halloween theme because it might be the same information, but on a new image, it's kind of a whole new idea to them. All right. Um, I My goal is to be live at least one or two more times this week um, that something doesn't come up and take that away. But I apologize for being absent, but we had nine people in this house and two birthdays and it was a little chaotic. But I love y'all, I'm proud of y'all. Keep showing up, keep working your business at least five minutes a day, if not 10, if not 20 minutes a day, and try to put in intentional work to your business because in the long run, it will really, really pay off. All right, I have it. Boris is really, he's really, have y'all hear him meow on this whole time? He's like, come say hi. Come say hi. Come hi. This is my baby. Oh, and we also got a bearded dragon, which I realized really recently that I love a reptile. I didn't know I liked reptiles. Ow, Boris. I didn't know I liked reptiles. Loki's my best friend. I clean his poop. I feed him crickets. And I cut up fruits and vegetables for this thing. Boris looks at me like, you're, feeling, you're, you're feeding him again? Yeah, Boris, I am. I know Bethany, but he's so sweet. Pretty soon when he gets bigger, I get to walk him on a leash and put costumes on him. He'll get two feet long. I think that's longer than Boris. And y'all know I'll have an outfit on that bearded dragon and maybe he'll get me walking because y'all know I don't exercise. So, anywho, September is always a crazy month for the yoga. So I feel like I say that to y'all every single month, but Keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on putting one foot in front of the other. And if life's been crazy, it's okay to start right where you are. What was that? That was a little awkward. I was like, I'm obviously not a sexy person because that wink was a little rough. All right. Love y'all. We'll talk soon. Bye, guys.